there are certain changes that you can easily reverse in other words make it come back to its original state for example in the case where we saw here it's blowing a balloon and then bringing it back folding a paper and bringing it back and what we spoke about in the beginning right take a piece of paper write something lightly with a pencil and erase it you very easily get it back to its paper to its original state without the pencil mark on it right there are quite a few as well right you say there is dust on a piece of paper you wipe it and you're back with the paper again so when we do, we have all of these we call them reversible changes you can reverse it yeah but like you saw you burst the balloon you can't easily take it back to its original state to tear a piece of paper it's not easy to take it back right if you heat something like say a chapati right you roll a, a round piece of dough into a flat flat one and then you you can roll it back yeah it's very easy to take it back that's reversible but if you heat it and make a chapati out of it or a roti out of it once you get that then it's very difficult to take it back to its original state maybe even impossible and like we also discussed writing with an ink pen seems to be that's right quite a bit irreversible even though somebody tries to sell you an ink eraser or a whitener and going back in time also seems to be a little difficult right one of the most seemingly irreversible things is a change in time you go to 6th standard you grow one year older in other words going back seems to be quite difficult so in this video you've learned two new words Yeah, reversible and irreversible. You learn a little bit about what they mean when we talk about it in science. To keep learning with such engaging videos, download Byju's the learning app today.